Oh my gosh. I start videotaping and you get needy. Hello everyone and welcome to the next um, episode of this series where I'm going to glue things on my face. Because what I realized was y'all may not want the full-on um, show makeup for your everyday looks and I'm trying to be helpful so I thought you know let's start off with something simple that you can wear to a party um, I don't know just anywhere so we're gonna do a simple rhinestone look today so we're gonna start with our Anastasia uh, little stick over here going ahead and covering up my pink little eyelids. Now, some of you may want to go a little all natural um, with this one, but for me personally, I'm going to put just a little bit of shadow to add some definition to my eyes, and then I'm going to start applying the rhinestones. So, starting here with my matte palette, the natural matte from Too Faced, we're just going to go ahead and take these creams, run it over where I just put the matchstick so that I can set it and none of that is sticky. Using the same brush, we're going into our crease just to add a little bit of shadow. Okay, I didn't want much, but I just wanted a little bit of um, some darkness there to uh, make my eyes look a little bit more hooded. But now we're gonna go in with one of my favorite palettes in the entire world. Jeffree Star is just amazing, and he came out with this Jawbreaker palette, if I haven't already um, just word vomited about it on my Instagram. But there's a bunch of crazy different colors, and the one I really love is the Jawbreaker. I'm gonna use the same brush because I'm lazy today. But go ahead and just dusting that on. I like to put it on my overall lids just to kind of give a little bit of glow to go with this rhinestone look, but this is all personal preference. If you'd rather just go with that matte skin tone, that's fine. I like my eyelids to be different colors every day. All right, so now we're going to apply our rhinestones. Um, I may run a little bit of eyeliner around my lash line um, if you wanna thicken that up just a little bit, but we're using Swarovski. So Swarovski. Swarovski? I don't know, I can barely afford these things. But um, I do love them. If you don't wanna buy these expensive little crystals and put on your eyes, um, I use these for my fancy days. But I actually got a bunch for really cheap on Amazon, and this way you can just play forever. But um, Swarovski, I really love your stuff. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, Sephora Crayon Cool something. I can't pronounce the rest, but all it is is an eyeliner. Um, just gonna go in, in between my lashes. It's a little bit of a dark blue, but I kinda like it. What I use normally on a day-to-day -day is called Spirit Gum. It's just a little bit of a stronger liquid adhesive. Um, some people use a latex-based one. Um, you can use eyelash glue if you aren't going to um, sweat very much in this look, but I have always used spirit gum. I will always use spirit gum. I sweat way too much on stage. So what you're gonna need is eyelash glue, spirit gum, latex, adhesive, whatever it is that you have. Um, hopefully a broader tipped uh, Tweezer, that took me a second to think about, and your crystals. So I'm going to do five crystals to each eye, and uh, yeah, I'll show you how it looks. I believe I saw this on Pinterest the first time I saw it, um, and then I saw them use it on the show Euphoria on HBO, which is amazing if you haven't seen it. But I love that um, they're doing all these crazy looks now. Okay. Taking my little tray, what I did was I put my glue right here on my hand because the back of my hand is pretty much a trash can for the rest of me. Taking it, dipping it in the glue, and then, okay, let's see if I can do this without looking. Press it into the bottom of your eye. 
like not into your eye, but right underneath it. Sometimes spirit gum will be a little bit um, slippery at first, so you may have to keep knocking it up towards your eye until it dries, but don't be afraid, I'm here for you. I always try to do these at the same time whenever you're doing the, the same rhinestone look on each side. Do them right after each other. It just, for me, it helps for symmetry. You also realize how crooked your eyes are when you do this. So, I hope you're emotionally prepared. Now I'm starting to think, I could have went with a smaller sequin, a rhinestone, but um, I wanted to be fancy. I think I'm going to do four on top because it's symmetry. Am I pretty yet? Okay, these up top, um, normally I'd push them down into the lash. If you're going to do a natural lash, then do that. Push it down towards the lash line itself. But if you're going to do fakes, um, keep in mind just having a little bit of a space right here in between your lash line and the actual diamond so that you can put that lash in there. Ooh, I'm a looking so pretty right now. Okay, I need a little bit more glue. One second. Yeah, I definitely could have done smaller ones, but YOLO! Mine's a little wider than I actually thought it was. And I messed that one up. My only troubleshooting situation is that by the end of doing my eyes every night, my tweezers are stuck to everything. But um, you just have to clean them every now and then and it's just part of the trade, man. Ooh. Okay, now let this dry for just a little bit and then we're going to uh, do our mascara, put our lashes on and call it a day. Okay, okay, we're gonna do some mascara first and then put a lash on. Okay, so the lashes I'm using today, they are a Sephora brand. Um, I might have reused them. If you buy nice lashes, you can reuse them. That's why I do my mascara first, so that I can reuse more easily by not getting mascara on the fake lashes, because I have to wear fake eyelashes so much. I spend half my paycheck, I feel like, on them. But um, all you gotta do is pick off a little bit of the glue. I left a little bit on here, but. I wanted to go with this one because she has such good space in between. And now she's dusty. What happened to you, girl? Just a simple Ardell Lash Grip Glue. They make great lashes and great glue. Tip on lashes. For something like this, I wouldn't cut it up, but say that you are um, you have issues with it itching. I'm just gonna talk to you while this is drying. But if you have issues with it itching, you can always cut the corners. Um, I always cut the corners of almost every lash I wear. And if you say, have a smaller eye, or um, it just seems to irritate you a lot, you can actually cut this one strip into three separate pieces and glue them. Neil Robinson actually showed me that. So um, you can do that, and it's just a little bit easier on your eye. But okay, let's put these on. Did I do it? Is it on? Ooh, okay. Next one. Okay, if you want, you can go back in, add a little shading underneath your eyes. You can even use a white eyeliner, if maybe you didn't sleep last night like I did, um, to just diminish the redness in your eyelid, in your waterline. And after that, you are good to go. I consider this a great look for um, running errands and picking your children up from school and um, 
go into a rave afterwards. So, anyways, I hope y'all like this. I hope you um, got something out of it, um, even if it was just humor at my sticky tweezers. So, I'll see y'all next time. I'll do a little bit bigger of an eye, but yeah. I'll see y'all in the next video. If y'all want, you can subscribe below and um, just check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Follow us along. Come see us at a show sometime. Bye.